Welcome to the Norwegian National Smart Grid Laboratory. Uh, this laboratory is owned and operated by Sintef and NTNU. It's a system oriented laboratory, providing a lot of infrastructure for doing R&D, demonstration, verification and testing of a huge amount of use cases related to smart grid. Being in a laboratory is not being in the real network. That is a big advantage for testing. Um, and you can make a fake distribution network. You can connect batteries, rotating machinery, PVs, and see how the system reacts and evaluate it if it's good enough or if it uh, needs to do some measures in the network. And a huge advantage of being in a lab is that you can make faults. You can make air faults or short circuits, or you can play a recording of an actual fault from the network and evaluate measures and how the system will react. Because the good thing about this lab uh, is that it's an uh, opportunity to integrate real-time simulation with physical power system assets. Um, we have a lot of projects in this lab, and the one that we have this workshop today, ECODES, um, the main goal is to make the substation smaller, smarter and safer. And we have a lot of pilots, but the lab pilot uh, is uh, one of them. And it, the goal is to make a vendor independent test platform in the National Smart Grid Laboratory. And when introducing new technology, like in a digital substation, a uh, lab can be an important uh, risk reducing measure. Because here you can test things before you implement it uh, in a new station and you can verify that it works uh, as you would like. So, what is a digital substation? It's a substation where devices from different vendors can easily communicate. Uh, based on protocols like IEC 61850, and most of the typical hardwire copper connections are replaced with optical fiber cables. If you have like a full digital station, um, as much of the data related to the station will be digitalized immediately. Uh, everything from measurements, uh, control and status reports. And the exchange of data uh, is to digital services. And the fun functionality of the station is first and foremost through software. So we have a, a lab pilot in ECODIS project. Um, so uh, Santiago, what is the purpose of the lab pilot in the project? Uh, the purpose of the laboratory pilot is to investigate uh, the interoperability uh, and the cybersecurity of a digital substation. Is the new type of substation that we are seeing. They are based on the IC61850 standard. Uh, we will demonstrate also here in our laboratory uh, how do, can we use uh, the multiple uh, network packages that are uh, provided in a digital substation, introducing new equipment uh, where we have a base on internet connections and optic fiber communication. Santiago, what can we emulate here? Yes, uh, for example, we can use uh, these, uh, these protections or these uh, merging units at to supply this will supply uh, the voltage, the communication uh, packages that uh, bring us the, the voltage and current into the this protection. Like for example, this is a transformer protection. Mm. Uh, also, we this we can connect this protection with a secondary uh, emerging unit, or the, it provides also other packages of voltages and current from other point of the grid or the network. And uh, we can use uh, the interaction of these devices in the substation to analyze the, the measurements like or information, like a fault, uh, the trip of a breaker, or all these uh, kind of packages that we have in a digital substation. Mm -hmm. uh, Santiago, what can we see uh, behind here? Yes, um, okay, here is uh, the connections uh, port. We have uh, the routes of some of the communications that we are having in a, like for the digital substation emulation. Mm -hmm. When we start to simulate the digital substation, we need to put some uh, of the communication uh, between devices. And then uh, we have like industrial switches that we can use to configure the network. 
and we also use some controllers in the in this substation. We have like a new generation and uh, with the older generation of uh, digital controllers. Mm. Besides, also we are providing some of the optic fiber connections. Well, now we're in a different part of the lab, and here we have two important pieces of lab equipment. We have the real-time simulator and also the network, uh, the simulator network. So what can we do with these two devices? Yes, uh, with the real-time simulator, basically we simulate a big uh, network where, uh, or a big substation or all the elements in the substation also. Uh, besides, like voltages and currents are simulated or uh, simulated in the real time simulator and later are uh, sent or at the same time they are sent to a power supply that will provide all these amplify these voltages and current to a real uh, life uh, to connect real life equipment. Mm -hmm. For example, we have this uh, big uh, power supply or voltage source control. Uh, system and then uh, this is the one that supplies all our equipment that, for the digital substation. Santiago, could you explain how this lab is connected? Yes, uh, we connect the, the voltage uh, source converter, the one that provides us voltages and current for the simulate from the simulation. We can just uh, connect it to this uh, kind of buses mm -hmm. and we have uh, multiple buses and then uh, up to the, the point where we have uh, the devices, we can just uh, bring a bypass or a switch that closes and goes to the next uh, bus connecting the voltage and then providing voltages. Mm -hmm. And then the current or power flow will go through that uh, system until the other side. Mm -hmm. The other side is where we have our uh, digital substation, a small digital substation in the lab, and then uh, is uh, where we are bringing some of the, the things. You can see here, how can we just go until the device where we have the devices connected. Mm -hmm. We have a device in C, then the C bus, we will connect something at the C bus, and then we just will come until here, mm -hmm. sending the voltage with our uh, Okay, so. Power supply, yeah, mm. is a big uh, control supply. Also, we can check some of the voltages at the mm. not with the multiple measurement equipment. Mm. Now we will present you with an example of what the lab can be used for. Uh, Santiago, could you show us? Yeah, uh, we have been uh, now running our real-time simulator with the simulating a digital substation. Uh, now we are injecting packages into the uh, communication network. Mm -hmm. And for example, in this test, we want to see that our real-time simulator is injecting some of uh, fake bolts into mm -hmm. the device mm -hmm. and then the, we will see the performance of this device and evaluating the messages that are coming from that mm -hmm. and then uh, we see that it's changing from uh, true to false because uh, it's saying that there is a, a fault event mm -hmm. it's true and then the false is that there is no now it has been removed mm -hmm. or there is no fault Mm -hmm. And we will stress the device in long, long time periods, and then we test it for hours. Uh, mm -hmm. How is this performance? Yeah. So, uh, so why is this important? What can we see from this? It, it is important because we want to verify the correct operation of the device mm -hmm. during the long term, mm -hmm. and uh, we can rely on it for a protection of the power system. Mm -hmm. So we can test it in the lab and then afterwards be safe in the power system. Yes. Well, thank you for watching us. 
Uh, we obviously hope that you could be here in person to see the lab and all the opportunities. But soon, uh, we hope that we can invite you here, so we can show you all the details. Um, later on in this workshop, we will tell you more, and then we will discuss new ideas on how to use the lab to make the digital substation smaller, smarter and safer. Yeah, thank you for watching us today. Then we hope uh, in so soon we will have you here visiting us and uh, developing some experiments with us. Thank you.